Well, October is a Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, so today we're keeping you in the know about the prevalence of infant loss, the many forms that it takes, and the effects that it has on a mother and a family. So joining us today to help us raise awareness about infant loss is Kelly Sidebottom, a nursing supervisor with Carl Broman Medical Center in the Mother Baby Unit. Thank you so much for coming in this afternoon. Yes, thank you for having me, and thank you for bringing awareness to this sensitive topic. Of course, yeah. You know, I... I I don't know how many people at home maybe don't even know that October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, because I certainly just learned that this year. So it's really important to shine a light on this and to have these conversations. So we appreciate you coming in today. Absolutely. Of course. And so let's talk about the importance of recognizing Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. Sure. I think it's really important because it can feel very isolating to families that go through this. Um, sometimes a mom may um, carry their baby in their womb and then have a miscarriage, or they could have a still birth where baby is born um, without a heartbeat so then they aren't able to take that baby home with them and introduce that baby to um, their family and friends and that can feel very isolating they can mm -hmm. feel very alone about that so I think it's important to bring awareness to that in addition we know that some um, infant deaths we can do things that help reduce the risk of those deaths and so being able to bring awareness to that and topics like safe sleep environments and those kind of things right. um, are helpful Absolutely. And about how prevalent is infant loss, either here in central Illinois or just uh, around the United States? Sure. About one in four women experience infant loss. So that is wow. pretty prevalent, yes. Yeah. And, that's, and does that number include miscarriage, stillbirth? Yes. Okay. Yep, it does, yeah. And what are some of the other forms? Are those, are those the main forms of infant loss? Yes. Or? Yep. So you mentioned, you know, miscarriage, stillborn babies. Um, we can have babies that are born with congenital anomalies that maybe aren't compatible with life. And then we know there's sudden infant death syndrome, yeah. um, you know, accidental suffocation, accidental choking. Um, some of those kind of comp um, compose all of the infant deaths that we may experience. And I imagine that this is just a, such a traumatic experience to go through for yes. the, the mother and the family who is, who's supporting mom. And what, what type of effects, you know, emotionally, mentally, psychologically can this have on a mother? Sure, yes, I agree. It, it really does bring on a wide range of emotion, right? Um, you know, physically, if mom has recently delivered a baby, she's going through physical healing, right? Mm -hmm. um, so not only is the emotional part affecting her and the mental part affecting her, but she's going also through um, that physical healing of her body. And then each person grieves differently, right? right. And so um, they go through stages of grief, and they just kind of have to work through that. And I think making sure that they know that there is support out there for for them. Right. Um, for example, Carl Broman has a support group that they offer the first Thursday um, of every month for um, pregnancy and newborn loss. We currently offer it virtually, so you can go on carl.org to get more information on that, but knowing that you're not alone and there is support out there. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful thing that you all are doing, providing that resource and helping mom get through this really difficult time. So yeah. we, we're glad to see that, and it's much appreciated. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Of course. Thank you so much for coming in today, Kelly. Yes, you're welcome. And we do have a Shining Light Memorial Service um, on October 15th where we're going to honor the memories of those that have been lost, and we're going to light a candle um, in their memory. So we would love for people to come join us um, at Carl Broman for that Shining Light Memorial Service on October 15th at 6.30 p.m. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you for adding that in there. So yeah. this, sun, this Sunday, 6.30 at Carl Broman. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for adding that in there. Yeah. Such an important event. So, again. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, stick with us. We'll be right back.